pull out in front of them, right? Well, now we know where the fire engines went. Now we know where the fire engines went. Now we know where the fire engines went. Now that's a repair garage back there. Let's see if we can figure it out. Hello folks, this is Steve AB4EL. Uh, I was down hiking in Riverside Park when the Franklinville engines took off, two of them, and let's see if we can figure out what happened. Now where this is, is there, there's a repair, car repair garage, but you can see the I'm guessing this was a rear end collision. Okay, we got it. Somehow it was a rear end collision. And why would the engine still be there? Protective to prevent people from running into them and running them over and crashing into them. Thank you. That's what those big engines can do. First they come out in cases of possibility of fire and or injury. But the reason why they're there is to make sure nobody inadvertently crashes into them. And if you don't think that's important, you need to watch your TV news online key thing because every week you'll see it in like Raleigh or some big city where that happens. There's a report about somebody at the roadside, they had a flat tire, and another driver comes along and crashes into him and kills him. Thank you to those folks protecting everybody else. Steve A. before you Just sticking his nose in it, saying season 73.